Diabetes, it's a complex um, endocrine disease that attacks different systems. One of the systems that attacks is the circulatory systems. Patients with diabetes have what is called peripheral vascular disease. But in addition to that, they can attack your nerves. And as a consequence, you have peripheral neuropathy. So the ulcers that have that happens in diabetes happens for like by two or three mechanisms. One of the mechanisms is peripheral neuropathy uh, because of the diabetes. You don't feel that you have an ulcer and you come with an ulcer that each that is very advanced and infected and in addition to that, because of the lack of circulation, this, it's very easy to get infected. Any kind of ulcers that don't have any circulation, then it's easy to get into the bone and get infected. And the other mechanism is the barotrauma. Patients with diabetes have special deformities in their feet because of the chronic diabetes. So they have like trigger points in the bones, on the feet that are easy to pressure and become an ulcer. So because of that, Every time you have to go to the doctor, um, check your feet. The better your glucose is, the less chances of complications are. There are several measurements that we can't um, address that or prevent that. First of all, you have to go to the doctor. Check your blood glucose levels, your hemoglobin A1C. Make sure your numbers are correct. Make sure your circulation is correct. Every patient who has diabetes has to have an arterial circulation study to make sure the circulation is okay. The hyperbaric oxygen therapy, which is part of a complemental treatment for diabetic foot infections, yes, it's indicated when the patient has bone infection or a wound that is very extensive. So it's a complementary treatment that we use with antibiotics, also hy with hyperbaric oxygen patients. There are several studies that, that, that shows that the more physical activity that you do, the less complications you have. To. Check that with your doctor, with your physical therapy. Another thing that is important for all my patients with diabetes is use proper foot care, proper devices that doesn't uh, increase callus formations or anything like that that will lead to an ulceration. Those are major tips that I can suggest uh, to my patients with diabetes to avoid any wounds in the future.